Welcome back. Another video of hopefully cutting some hay with the new tractor. And I cleaned the entire carburetor out because it was kind of missing everything. And I know we have a fuel adjustment here, you know, for higher load applications, but I took the whole carburetor apart and, you know, made sure all the passageways were open. We put a filter in, done a whole bunch of stuff. There's definitely some junk in the fuel tank. You can see in the bottom of the sediment bowl there. So it's definitely dirty, but hopefully it works and doesn't miss because we're going to hook the hay bind to it. So we're going to be able to test the PTO. We're going to be able to test the rear hydraulics. And we have a very small window to cut this. So that means the baler has to work, the hay bind has to work, the tractor has to work, everything has to come together and work because we have a very short window that we have to cut this. So there's a chance of rain tonight, which I'm not worried about that because it's going to be freshly cut and green. The rain's not going to have any bearing on it. Chance of rain tomorrow, uh, kind of in the morning, tapering off in the afternoon. That's fine too. Still not really in the drying process. Then Wednesday, so today's Monday. So then Wednesday and Thursday, supposedly perfectly sunny all day and in the 90s. So that's good drying weather. And then Friday, chance of rain, thunderstorms. So hopefully we can have it dry enough by Thursday evening or Thursday afternoon, because Friday we'll be pushing it. So hopefully everything works out. We can go cut, we can you know do everything properly and everything runs with the engine. The goats say it's time to go. It's all hooked. But coming out the road on this thing in fourth gear, it was missing, spitting, sputtering, never shut off. Ugh. I don't know how this is gonna go. say the 504 did 10 times better than this. I don't know if the uh, the fuel line is you know clogged up from the tank again because that's what happened before. It doesn't look like it's getting a whole lot of fuel again. I don't know. I'm gonna try up in the fuel in the carburetor give it more fuel because we are putting it under a load but we're only in first gear so i don't know we'll see if that changes anything and try again
I don't know why. And that fuel filter is, it doesn't really have any gas in it. I'm pretty certain it's starving for fuel something terrible. And just to show you what it does. Well, I really just don't have the time to mess with that right now. It, it's To me, it just seems like it's really starving for fuel. There's hardly any fuel in the filter. So it's just, I don't know what's going on if it just keeps clogging up. I keep blowing it out. It worked there for like one pass. So we're gonna have to get the Coyote as much as I hate to because I wanna use my own tractor. Ah, it's frustrating. Just gotta get the hydraulic hooked up here and then we're ready to go. Really wish I could have used the 460, but we got to figure out what's going on with that before anything. how thick this stuff is this is crazy it's got some nice swaths going i'm able to actually speed up and i'm not gonna lie cutting with a hydrostatic tractor i mean doing anything with a hydrostatic tractor is 10 times easier and this coyote is it's not bogging or nothing it's running like a champ Around the field we go, we got this one to do, and then we got another one to do up top. Technically, I could do a, I could probably do a third one, but we ain't getting to that one. It's like eight o'clock already. We're gonna be struggling to get done before dark.
this field is just about done. I have a little patch down there yet that I just need to get squared away. Then we can go up to the next field. This, this tractor is doing really well. I don't know. Second guessing. It's, it's not quite wide enough and not necessarily tall enough either, you know, for the clearance of the hay. You do run over some of it, especially on the hills because it automatically wants to fall down the hill, but it's definitely a lot better than, it, it still is straddling it a lot. So we'll get down and do that. Unfortunately, let's see if I can find it here. I ended up running over a turkey nest. Hate to see that. There was no hen sitting on it or anything that I that I seen, but I did end up smashing the eggs, or at least a couple of them, and I don't even remember exactly where it was. I know it was somewhere down in here. Yeah, right here. So that really sucks. Quite honestly, it doesn't even look like she was sitting on them. They're just yolks, so she might not have been done laying. There's only like six or seven in there, so. I don't know. So this field is done. We're gonna go up to the field right up there. And do that, that's next to mom and dad, so do that field. That's probably about maybe close to a two acre field. field next to mom and dad's and it's a big field i ended up going well into the night last night at around probably nine o'clock 9 30 something like that and we managed to get it all cut the hay vine worked well this tractor worked well and obviously our tractor the 460 did not so i got the tether hooked up to the coyote i still didn't mess around with my tractor yet i'm gonna go through ted all this because it's honestly it's drying really nice and i mean even even underneath you know it's it's looking pretty good now some of your thicker areas like this is probably green but even that is really not bad it's shaping up nice it did not rain today like they were calling for and as you can see we got some really nice sun and everything else so i'm gonna keep rolling with this and the next two days are supposed to be really nice and and 90s so i'm really hoping we don't get a pop-up shower or pop-up thunderstorm that we can bail all this and then we have that field which is right down here on the left side of the driveway too so we'll go through get all this ted and then hop down and ted the other field and 
we'll have to do some work on our tractor and see hopefully that we can get that rolling before we need to bail otherwise you know we do have this as a backup but there again if i gotta use this one then <laughs> what's the point out of my own anyway this field looks great we're gonna roll with this and go from there so i hope you enjoyed this video i know i didn't get as much footage as i would have liked to but it is what it is it's problems that we're dealing with and we gotta work them out so with that being said have a great day subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one